1921 census has revealed family mysteries for millions of people, including yourself, Jenny. Uh -huh. And you have worked as a journalist, a TV presenter, the BBC Royal Correspondent for 14 years. And today we're excited to talk you through your family history and what mysteries we can solve for you. How exciting. Oh, as you say, and I've spent so much of my working career talking about another family, the royal family. So I can't wait to find out more about mine. It's all a bit murky, to be honest. I don't really know much about them. Oh, and when I saw this, this research, nine out of ten people didn't know much about their great grandparents. They didn't even know the maiden names. And I thought, hang on a minute. I don't either. You know, I am one of those people. So I can't wait to find out more. Well, I'm glad that we have been able to delve deep into your family history and we can reveal to you the names of all of your great grandparents, including their maiden names as well. <laughs> one of the, the key stories that popped out for us was the story of your great grandmother. So Ellen Collins, who became Ellen Bond. Yeah. But unfortunately, we do, as we follow Ellen and James's story, we see that James passed away in 1880. We don't know what all. Well, we did find out through looking into the newspapers. Mm -hmm. We were able to find a lot more detail about James Bond's death. And it tells us that on Monday evening, James Bond attempted to get onto the shaft of the wagon. The horse, however, started and he fell under the wheel, which passed over him, injuring him dreadfully, that he died about midnight. How terrible. So that leaves Ellen with the children, and she's only, what, about 30, 31? She would mm -hmm. be something like that, gosh. But then the 1891 census reveals a whole other story for us. Oh, really? There's another child in the house, Stanley, oh. who has taken the surname Bond. Wow, that's weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, who's the dad? Who's the daddy? We have to ask. So we did try to follow Stanley's story, and we found a few clues here and there, but we weren't 100% positive that everything was matching up until we looked at the 1921 census. Uh -huh. And we found Stanley Bond here is actually stationed. He's in the British Army and he's stationed in Constantinople. Mm -hmm. We then found his service number linked to a house with James Henry Bond and Grace, your grandparents. Uh -huh. In the electoral registers, because we have the records for every year, we were able to see him in the house with James Henry and Grace for a number of years. Okay. So they must have had a very close relationship. Yeah, they must have, yeah. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't, you know, a black sheep or an outcast because no. we didn't quite know who his father was. Yes. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Good. That's kind of a modern family. Absolutely. <laughs> So did you manage to find anything about the other side of the family? Because that side, I well, I knew the granny there. She was called Alma and I knew granny and she, she didn't die till I think 73, something like that. Um, but it's a bit shrouded in mystery because I know that granny was almost given away, which is a cruel way of putting it. She was invited to go and stay with some cousins, quite wealthy cousins. She had a wonderful upbringing, but she didn't really see her parents as far as I know. I'm not sure she saw them ever again. Well, we were able to dig a little bit more into that side of the family and we know that Alma had a, a lot of siblings as well so there were different lines to track and that family story that you have about Alma staying with a relative is absolutely true mm. and the same is for her siblings and with so many siblings it is possible um, in, in large families you can see that where where some of the children are moved around to grandparents to aunts to uncles and that's where we find Alma is in the 1911 census. We find Alma with her uncle Horace mm -hmm. and his family, including his wife and three daughters. Mm -hmm. And we do find in 1921 that unfortunately Alma is still not in the house with her parents. Well, Mary, that has been fascinating, really. Um, you've taught me so much about my own family and I can't wait to delve further, actually. So I'm going to go on, find my past, mm -hmm. and I'm going to start digging. One of the great ways we've been able to really get into the, the family history was some of the stories that you told us, which is why it's so important to talk to your family now. Mm -hmm. Get to know those family stories, those legends, those myths that are passed down. And then it's through records that you can find on Find My Past, and specifically with the 1921 census that we can get to know more about our great-grandparents that we never knew before. We can get to understand them on a whole new level now. We get to see who they're living with, who they're working with, where they work. There's so much more rich detail available. All that you've told me on both sides is just making my life a little bit more complete. It's a very satisfying feeling and I can't wait to do even more. Thank you. 
You're welcome.